Okay, it's Thursday, so it's time to hit you guys up with another E36 update. I'm in the E36, we're heading to the farm. I just got my pumpkin spice latte because it's that season. Got a bunch of stuff that I'm working on today. Main thing is gonna be getting that rear right wheel bearing done. I've also got two under trays here and uh, the OEM cabin style air filter. Got a bunch of parts over here. One thing I'm super excited for is these Nove lights. Uh, I was thankful enough they sponsored me and we're gonna make a YouTube video installing those. So stay tuned for those. I also got some internal clips. Uh, let's this a red tow hook. Uh, I got a kind of gauge cluster. I'll get more into that later. Uh, the wheel bearings and the front and left uh, turn signal light bulb. I got about an hour's drive ahead of me to the farm and then we'll get to work. Okay, I just made it to the farm. We just pulled the E36 out. Now we're gonna pull the E92 into the shop. One thing I didn't mention, we're also gonna be adjusting that ride height. As you can see, the front ride height is like higher than stock. So we're gonna slam that down. Okay, with the car in the shop, first thing it is, we're gonna jack it up and that way we can get access to the coilovers, the front light bulb and that rear wheel bearing. Okay, so I've been working on my turn signal problem for about an hour now and I cannot get the left turn signal to work. I had a new bulb, I put it in there, it still didn't work. I took the one from the right side, I swapped it over to this side, it's still not working. So I don't know, I took the one that was in the left side, I put it on the right side, it works over there. So it's something to do with the housing. The pins look like they are connecting, so I don't really know what the issue is and I spent enough time on it. That was the left signal bulb that's in the right side and it's working now. I don't know, there's no fuse for the left side turn signal from what I've researched. Uh, anybody knows what it is, please drop it down in the comments below. As you can see, leaking oil from that oil cooler hose up in there. So I have a aftermarket oil cooler coming in. So we're gonna replace the whole lines and with a larger cooler that's aftermarket. So I did try to put the OEM cabin filter in. I must have ordered the wrong one because it wasn't fitting. So I just left it normal. Now we're going to put the under trays in and you can see why I'm replacing them. Like that was one of the under trays. That was the other one. It's missing like half of it. I have been trying to do the wheel bearing. Unfortunately, this nut is so rusted that I've just destroyed it. I've been trying to like eat away at this one side. I'm getting pretty nervous. So I need to go up to my uncle's and get a set of torches to add some heat to that. Okay, so just got the under panels on this side and the far side. I don't know, I think, I think I'm still missing a few pieces because there's a few broken pieces, but I got all the main stuff covered up. Uh, battery cable on that side, then all of the fuel lines on this side. So any little pieces in the middle, I'm not too worried about. Okay, I just got the trunk all put back together. Okay, I got it back on the ground. Front ride height, I dropped about an inch. Looks like we can still drop it about another inch. We'll do that another time. For now, it's good enough. Also got the stock cabin air filter cowl in place. Yeah, it's like two or three hours later. I tried so hard, ended up taking the whole hub off and my uncle is heating it up over here. We still have not got the bearing out. This was a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, once the 335 running, I'm sure the N54 will be great. I'm just trying to get there. Wheel bearing right now. I just haven't been following along with my episodes. This is where the wheel bearing is at. I thought I'd be able to do it with the hub just down and disconnect the top and get a fucking bolt and it go through but ah i ended up no not being that easy first it took me forever just to get the lock nut off how to torch it off basically and then how to bring the whole hub over here i ended up cutting my freaking e-brake because it just snapped when i was trying to take it off so no e-brake and you know what drift car so we're not gonna put it back on just got the bearing out oh my god we had to torch this heat up the outside and then i used like threaded rod with that and this and oh my gosh, what a struggle. I thought I was gonna be home an hour ago and I'm still here and I probably won't make it home for two or three hours. It's absolutely ridiculous, but uh, we're just gonna put the wheel bearing on as quick as possible, get all that assembled as quick as possible and then I'm going home. Okay, so bearing is in, hub is in. Now we just gotta put it back in the actual car. Okay, it is all back together. Everything's tight. Didn't worry about putting the e-brake back in because the cable's already just snapped. Never want to do this again. This has been like five hours, seven, six, six hours. Just, no, if you ever need to do a wheel bearing, it sucks. All right, it's 10.30 at night. The car is all back together and I'm about to head home. I am so tired. I haven't eaten any food since like 3 p.m. So I'm gonna get some McDonald's on the way and I am showering and passing right out and I hope I never have to do another wheel bearing again. Peace.